Welcome back to another episode of School of Sketching. This is the final part of our four-part series that explores the different places artists draw inspiration from. We'll be focusing on what artists feel in two parts, during this episode and in our next episode. For our project today, all you need is some paper, a pencil, and an eraser. One way that artists express their feelings is through portraits. A portrait is a painting, drawing, or photograph of a person that usually only includes their head and shoulders. Let's take a look at some famous portraits. Today we're going to first show you a simple way to draw a portrait. Then we are going to demonstrate how to show different emotions with your portrait. I'm going to start by drawing an oval for our face. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line down the middle of my oval and a horizontal line across the middle of my oval. After that, I'm going to draw eyes on the horizontal middle line. Let's call this the eye line. Next, I'm going to draw a horizontal line in the middle of the eye line and the chin. We'll call this the nose line. I think noses are kind of tricky to draw, so I'm gonna keep my nose simple. I can add more details later. After that, I'm going to draw one more horizontal line in the middle of the nose line and the chin. We'll call this the mouth line. For my mouth, I'm drawing a simple upwards curve because I want my portrait to be smiling. For the ears, I'm going to draw them in between the eye line and the nose line. Now that I have the main parts of my portrait's face done, I'm going to start adding more details like eyebrows, a neck, hair, and clothes. You can add details that I didn't include, like freckles or piercings. After I'm satisfied with my portrait, I'm going to erase my eye, nose, and mouth lines. Okay, now think of an emotion you want to portray with your portrait. My portrait looks happy, but I want to change my portrait to make it look sad. First, I'm going to change their eyebrows by making them slant downwards. Then I'm going to change their smile into a frown. Emotions are usually expressed by a person's eyebrows, eyes, and mouth. So try to focus on these when you draw your portraits. Now that I'm done with the main parts of my portrait, I'm going to keep adding details until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And voila, here's my finished portrait. Here are different expressions your portraits can have. I'm going to show you two more portrait drawing examples. The secret to improving your portrait drawing skills is to practice a lot. When I first started drawing faces, it was pretty intimidating and challenging, but the more faces I drew, the easier it became. Soon, I didn't even need to draw all of the guiding lines because I already know where the eyes, nose, and mouth should go. I hope you enjoyed this week's School of Sketching episode. As usual, thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see our next video where we'll continue to explore how artists express their feelings through their artwork. We would love to see your portrait drawings, so submit pictures of them to this link and we'll feature them in our upcoming videos.